Hi hey folks, Matthew Lanigan here with Baywa RE. We'll just give it another minute to see people are still logging in. We'll be back with you in about two minutes. Thanks so much. Hi folks, Matthew Lanigan here again with uh, Baywa RE. Really appreciate you taking the time to spend with us and Hellerman Titan to learn a little bit more about the products they offer. A couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. This will be recorded. It will be coming out on the monthly newsletter. Uh, before that, if you'd like access to it, it's on our YouTube channel. So this presentation and all previous ones can be located there. If you haven't yet, we'd love it if you were to sign up for the channel. Um, we will be taking questions. Uh, there's a chat box in the bottom right corner. So just make sure to put them in there. We'll do them as we go in this uh, in this instance. And yeah, really appreciate you being here. Continuing education is really important to Baywa and our staff internally. And we're, we're happy to share that with our customer base as well. So before we get started, I just want to check the chat box if... Uh, Somebody can just type in it and say hello. We'll make sure everything's good and then we'll get started. I don't see anything yet. If somebody could type and just say hello or hi, we'll make sure it's working. Okay, great. Thank you, Kuno. Nice to see you there. Okay, so without further ado, uh, I would like to introduce Terry, the technical sales manager with uh, Hellerman Titan, coming to us from beautiful Toronto, Ontario. Uh -huh. Terry? Hi, Matt. Thank you very much for the intro. Um, again, thanks to everyone that has joined us today. Uh, just to give you a, a kind of brief overview of, of our role here. So, so Baywa and Hellerman Titan have been partnered up on the solar cable management side of, of their business uh, since the beginning of it, really, since uh, before Baywa was Baywa, they were National Solar. Uh, we've enjoyed a, a healthy partnership and relationship for the past 10 or 12 years together. So uh, thanks to Matt for including us in, in these, uh, these webinars. So um, last time uh, we were invited to this, we focused a little bit more on our labeling. Uh, all of which is, of course, still available, uh, still available through Baywa when it comes to uh, customized labels or our pre-printed uh, established labels. 
Uh, that's something that, that will continue to be a, a service that BayWA is offering. But today I thought it might make some sense to, sh to talk a little bit more about cable management. Uh, so not just cable ties, which of course are, are available and standard uh, products that are used, but some of our more unique and Harry, sorry, you, your wrong screen is showing here right now. Oh, okay. How's that? Yeah. Okay. So something like our um, unique products, so designed specifically for uh, the solar market, whether it's a residential or ideally and more more likely to be a solar farm type of situation. So. Uh, this is our, our full line catalog. So again, I can I can make sure that anybody's interested has links to all of this uh, via Baywa or direct. We have a, a full line catalog that discusses and shows our products uh, designed for cable management in solar applications. So here we go. So again, just uh, without boring you with all the, the finer details, um, one thing that has separated us over over some of our competition um, has really been our development on the materials themselves. So, so we have uh, all of our materials primarily uh, are made out of a, a, a raw virgin nylon 6.6 base. And then with additives, depending on the circumstances, whether it's a simple UV additive or whether it's something more involved, depending on where the, the cable ties or the cable management product will be, will be used. Um, because of the variety of temperatures as well in North America, with some of our customer base residing in places like Nevada and Arizona, very dry, very humid, there's lots of different uh, material types uh, for lots of different environments. So one of the things that we've, we've made uh, part of our uh, strengths has been developing materials. So another one of our, uh, what I've always thought has been our real game changers or certainly our strengths has been our design. So we are much, much more than just a standard cable tie when it comes to not just our solar market products, but our, our products in general. A couple of those we're gonna talk about today and I'm gonna show you today. And just so you guys are all, uh, guys and girls are all aware, um, anything that we talk about today, if you're interested in any samples, or any uh, additional information, uh, please just net, let Matt and the Baywa team know, and we can make sure we get some of that to you guys for analysis. So we uh, touch on in here, the, the sort of the main sort of opportunities with regards to you know, our products, where they fit, talk a little bit about here. This is a sort of a summary. We're gonna get into a bit more detail, and I'm, I'm gonna zoom in here too, guys, just to, to give us a, a better view of it. So this is just some of the, um, you know, again, some of the, the more basic uh, situations that we've come across. We've taken pictures and whether we've designed products in or whether we have um, uh, already got a product that works. You guys and girls that are familiar with Baywa may have seen this edge clip cable tie. So this was certainly one of the very early popular parts of ours at Hellerman Titan. Um, using this product allowed you to not worry about having to drill a hole. It simply popped on or, or inserted onto a, an exposed edge with a cable tie as a, an accessory to that. The functionality of it from a, um, a lot of different advantages was certainly the cable tie itself being anywhere from eight to 11, even 15 inches in some cases, gave the uh, installer a, a huge opportunity for bundle diameters themselves. So instead of using you know, a more traditional method, this allowed you to use one edge clip with one cable tie that could take a home run all the way down to some of your smaller little offshoot bundles. So that's one of the, the, the larger strengths we had early on. And then we went one step further and we designed a product called our Ratchet P-Clamp. So this is something that I will get into a little bit more detail because we've taken it even one step further again. But this is a one piece unit that is secured now in a, in a few different ways. It used to be simply is secured by uh, applying a bolt to a, a pre-established tab. That tab was made out of either a nickel plated steel or a stainless steel, various hole sizes. What happened eventually is as we, as we went to market with this product, 
we realized that there were other opportunities for this in not only solar but other markets so they've changed the footprint and allowed us to mount this ratchet clamp a few different ways now um, it's now available as a fir tree mount whether it's an oval or a circle tree uh, circle hole it's also available as an adhesive mount it's available as a stud mount or a direct bolt on mount and one more um, late added feature is a torque tube mount so hopefully you guys can see this is our first um, real uh, introduction to this product it just got launched officially uh, a few months ago and this is designed specifically for a torque tube uh, mounting uh, opportunity so the the ratchet clamp itself just to give you guys some basic idea about it it is a uh, an open and closable mount with a latching cap or lid if you will the bundle range is also something that is a big part of the design here so we've got four main sizes of those four main sizes the bundles range from a quarter inch all the way up to just over two inches with just four sizes so just to give you a quick uh, a quick sense our first size runs from quarter inch to three quarter then we've got second size three quarter to an inch and a half inch and a quarter inch and a quarter to inch and three quarters and then that last size is inch and three quarters up to about two and a quarter inches so um, available as I mentioned with about seven or eight different ways to mount it depending on the application and the opportunity so we'll now just get into just so everybody's aware um, and again I, I believe you guys uh, understand that traditionally and more often than not you guys in that in in your space are using a UV rated cable tie um, for some general uh, uh, managing we have and in turn Baywa has everything that you would need when it comes to standard UV rated cable ties so again just to just to touch on it we also have again talking a little bit about some of our material blends we also have a, a heat in a heat um, UV and high impact modified material as well really again depends on the situation depends on the uh, environment but it's just uh, food for thought for everybody here to understand that very likely uh, regardless of the opportunity or the application and the environment, we're, we're going to have a product that's going to fit when it comes to those factors. So uh, again, without getting into a ton of detail about it here, some of the other blends that we that we we offer with varying degrees of, of uh, resistance to whether it's chemicals or high heat, you know, you name it. Uh, we also do have some stainless steel uh, material uh, products so this happens to be our cable ties that our are uh, made out of a nylon or uh, sorry a uh, 304 material stainless steel we also have as uh, Baywa has has uh, been stocking over the years a metal clip that is uh, designed specifically for uh, up to two PV cables with the edge clip style uh, it's actually this right here if I zoom in on it I'll show you is may be familiar with that that's something that we've been offering and, and have been quite successful with for for many years so these next couple of pages are just uh, giving you the different options when it comes to our edge clip cable tie combinations uh, the, the folks at Baywa do stock I believe at least three or four sizes of this product but there are different variations different um, you know mounting uh, angles uh, different mounting abilities so just again just to understand that, that there are uh, plenty of options when it comes to how you run your 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 lines of cable up and down we've developed a small little uh, button mount here if you will this is something that actually it's quite simple but again a hole is is uh, established this mount pops through there's a small little opening here that allows you to insert a cable tie and certainly everyone, um, I think we can all understand some of the advantages to using a, a mount um, cable tie combination. And of course, one of the main reasons is simply being able to remove the cable tie 
in order to add or remove a wire or a cable and then just simply using a cable tie to to re-secure it. Um, the other alternatives, you know, whether it's a traditional P-clamp or anything that is, is specific to that bundle, as you guys are aware, you have to remove the entire uh, clamp sometimes, which allows you to certainly get at the, the product, but it just from a standpoint of getting back into it quickly and efficiently, uh, we we believe this this mount and cable tie combination uh, is sort of the best way to do it, and and we we also do this very well in some of the other markets we serve uh, as well. So here's a little bit more specific information on the metal clips that you guys are already uh, used to buying. Some in low profile now with 90 degree angles. We also have a whole line here of what we're calling our solar eclipse. So these are one piece units, uh, similar to uh, as far as mounting is concerned, you need a hole, an oval hole or a round hole. And this is a locking clamping device, locking and also releasable, similar to the ratchet clamps. You do have some uh, ability here with a wire bundle size. And the fact that you can simply release this and get back in, is is that much more efficient than even using the, the mount and cable tie combination. So in varying sizes and strengths and hole sizes, as you can see here from, from some of the details. So. A little bit more on our ratchet clamps, as I mentioned earlier, just this happens to be the one that shows the, the actual uh, tab availability. Uh, if there's some interest, I can certainly just show you briefly what we're calling the, in the inline ratchet clamps as well. We have a full line of protection products that you guys uh, may be aware of, convoluted tubing being our, our sort of standard one. Um, this happens to be a UV rated one, of course, and available in sizes from three quarters of an inch all the way up to two inches. So uh, traditionally made with a slit but also available as a solid piece as well. This isn't necessarily a conduit, it's more of a, a protective, some people call it rodent proofing, uh, it's called a bunch of different things, but, but this is what we, what we market is called a convoluted tubing. So. Um, one thing that we have also, I think, excelled in, and, and I, I don't take any credit for this personally, but our U.S. office has worked very closely with the NEC Code Compliance Board. In fact, our, our main solar label guy is on the board. Uh, so the NEC codes, they do not obviously match the CEC codes exactly, but they're pretty close in a lot of cases. So if you guys were ever interested in any information on code compliance and how that relates to Hellerman Titan's products, uh, we've got all kinds of information on that, whether it's for labeling or whether it's for managing the wire and cable. So, so there are, uh, again, um, a, there's a lot of information on that. Um, we won't necessarily go into the this identification stuff in a lot of detail, but, but since we do have a bit of an audience, I'll, I'll at least touch on it quickly. So we spent a lot of our time on the webinar last time on just this with little focus on the management. So we'll, we'll just flip it a bit. We, we have a whole host of pre-established label um, texts, depending on size and, and information. We also have a full line of products that can be used with a printing system, whether it's our printing system or uh, Baywa has one internally as well. Um, a bunch of different variations, some uh, convenience packs, like here as an example, we've got convenience packs that actually include more or less a kit of labels depending on what you're looking for. So just another, uh, you know, another advantage or another thing that differentiates us. We've got some that are metal placards so they can replace the Lamacloid uh, plates. We've got uh, some labels that have writable portions here, whether it's, uh, you know, using a, a marker or Sharpie or using a printer. Um, when I say a printer, this is the, the printer I'm, I'm more or less talking about. It's a thermal transfer printer, something that Baywa invested in a few months ago, uh, as I believe, to allow the customer base there to, um, you know, have a bit of a value add when it comes to label requirements. The variety of different styles and sizes. And again, you can see here in some cases that they are 
uh, directly related back to the NEC code. This happens to be a 2014, uh, but we do update our NEC code labeling um, every year that they, they come out with uh, new code requirements. So. And then uh, somewhat lastly, but, but also important, is a continuous role of labels. So this happens to be available in traditional colors for solar. So we've got red, black, white, yellow, uh, orange as well. It comes in a 250 foot continuous roll, which allows you or Bewa or us to print anything on those labels. Um, they can be printed using a different style and, and color uh, ribbons allowing you to more or less use any kind of color combination you might need. As we know across the country, there are different uh, variations on the requirements for color combinations. Here in Ontario, a lot of the color requirements are yellow and black. Um, in the US, a lot of it is simply red and white. So it really depends on the circumstances and the, uh, and the market, but it does allow you guys to kind of decide uh, what you need and and again we have a, a pretty viable option for it so and then lastly it just goes into a little bit more of our software which if anyone was interested in learning a little bit more about some of the features and benefits to being able to print internally um, we could spend some time doing that later so and that's essentially the end of our uh, catalog this is just going into a few of the actual printers themselves and then we do have some additional products that sometimes fit in the market. Uh, we, we have here a, a wiring duct. So in the situation where there's a, a control panel or some sort of uh, environment where you might need to, to have some wiring duct, we have that. We've got a full line of braided sleeving, uh, something like spiral wrap available, heat shrink tubing, convoluted tubing, and then of course our standard cable ties and assemblies when it comes to not just solar, but across many markets. So these are some of the, the quality certifications we carry, um, none of which really uh, apply too much to our world in solar, but just, I think, anyway, speak to the quality commitment we have at Hellerman Titan for, for our products. Okay, so any questions about that? Not seeing anything at the moment, Terry. Oh, okay. Well, well, we'll we'll keep going then, if that's uh, if that's okay. So, yep. so because we're talking about you know new products, something that has been recently developed. Let me just touch on the the ratchet clamps again. I just want to make sure you guys are um, informed and aware of of the the larger offering. So, I mentioned earlier that we took what was the original design of of this style product here and modified it by essentially adding accessories to the bottom. So what that's allowed customers to do is really narrow that, that footprint needed for mounting our ratchet clamp. So this happens to be a fir tree uh, assembly. So you can again see it takes this tab out of the picture entirely, allows you to release it. Uh, we've had tests done up to thousands of, of opening and closing. It's just a small little flathead screwdriver fits in where these serrations are and that lid or, or cap, whatever you want to call it, uh, will pop off and allow you to get back in. There are some, uh, some ribbing here, which also helps keep the bundle uh, you know, contained and from sliding across. We also have rubber inserts that take it one step further. We've added a line of adhesive mounts. That's this one here. And then a, a larger oval uh, fir tree, and then recently added a full line of, let me just get through here to some extra pages, just to give you some, uh, you know, application situations here. Here's some of the, the features and benefits. So a material, uh, again, a UV stabilized PA66. Um, we have some mounting uh, availability here on the top of the tube. I mentioned already the ribbing that's available inside so allows that, that bundle to sort of stay in place. The mounting plates I mentioned are, are one option available in a M6, M8, M10 or an M12 hole. It is a one piece unit so you, you don't have to worry about adding anything after the fact if you do in fact come out. 
inline, again, has the same uh, features and benefits to the clamp itself. We now just start talking about different attachment methods. So again, uh, round or oval fir tree. Uh, in our world, we talk a lot about a high extraction and a low insertion. So it's sort of self-explanatory, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to push it in, but it takes an, a lot of effort to pull it back out. So that's that's one thing that, that our, not only the solar world, but certainly our, our automotive bus and truck type of world uh, needs that to be a, a, a big factor when it comes to designing in products. So these are the, the three kind of inline um, models. And then we've, we've taken it, recently taken it uh, another step further. And that is with our stud and bolt mount. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is... Oh, we should talk about the sizes then, I guess, because I, I only just touched on it. So. Um, four main sizes with a fifth actually added fairly recently. This is up to a three inch uh, bundle. So those are the, the five sizes now. And then traditionally speaking, the, the three style of tabs. So that's the, the, the 180 degree, that's obviously straight across in, in short, medium and long. Uh, they're available in different lengths because of obvious, you know, uh, depending on each application, but also allows you to piggyback some of these beside each other. So you can take this 180 short and attach the, the mount sits here and the hole itself lines up for the back part of the tab. So it allows you to piggyback them. And then in a few different angles, again, these are the, the five main sizes. We've got our, our two oval size holes and then our two round holes, six, uh, six and a half mil and a nine mil plus our adhesive mount. Here's just some showing you some of the, the different ways to, to apply them. Again, different, different uh, methodology here when it comes to uh, you know, the, the way you do it. All of this detail here that I'm kind of zipping past are just all of the specific part numbers and, and each uh, specific um, you know, uh, description for them. If there's any information or, or any application needs, just let us know and we can make sure we identify the right one for you. Um, I just uh, wanted to make sure that the last and most recent update on securing them are here. And if they're not, I'll just simply describe it to you. Okay, the last two, they're not on this, this literature, but they are a bolt-on and a stud mount um, application uh, ratchet clamp. So just so you guys are aware of that. So um, we also do, I was gonna touch on this as well, because it is something that, that we do quite well and that, that does di differentiate us from, from most. We have a full line of application tooling. So these uh, options here that you see are, are manual application tools. So uh, of course, what I mean that is you have to apply the cable tie manually. You can pull it tight or you can just snug it on. And then the tail of the cable tie is inserted through this opening. You pull on the handle and the handle itself then pulls the tie tight, tensions it to the desired tension and cuts it flush. That uh, the, the tools that you see here um, work from our 18 pound all the way up to our 250 pound, depending on what you're looking for. So um, for your guys world, I would say you traditionally never get much lower than the 50 pound tensile strength cable ties. My recommendation would be the 110-80,000, the that's our Evo 9. And that works from a 50 pound tie all the way up to our 255 pound tie, if there's a need for it. So. Um, in, in joining the, the uh, application tool discussion here, um, back in May of last year, we launched the very first fully mobile automatic cable tie installation tool. This is our CPK, our Auto Tool 2000 CPK hybrid. So this is a industry first, it is a battery operated uh, automatic cable tie application tool. The tool itself works with an 18 pound four inch cable tie. Uh, this allows a maximum bundle of approximately three quarters of an inch. And it allows the user to uh, take it pretty much anywhere with them that they would like to uh, use the tool. 
Um, it's a, of course, a rechargeable battery. Uh, the battery itself lasts approximately 8,000 cycles. We have different uh, opportunities when it comes to mounting the ties or the tool, depending on what you're looking for. In your world, I would recommend or suggest simply uh, having bandoliers of ties. So that would be uh, specific to maybe the run that you're looking to, to use or specific to the uh, uh, actual day or the application. So um, it's, it's brand new, well, relatively new to us uh, across the, the country. We've got uh, many of them in place in many different markets and applications, solar being one of them. So I just thought I'd at least expose you guys to that. And if there's ever an opportunity, uh, let, let us know and we can either do a, a online demonstration or what I recommend sometimes is is customers can send in an example or a sample of what they're looking to use the tool on. I could do some internal testing here, send you guys a video or uh, the sample back and make sure that it does what you guys want it to do. It does apply the cable tie in less than a second. In fact, it's approximately 0.65 seconds. Applies it, tensions it, cuts it flush in less than a second. So the advantages from a time perspective are are certainly significant. And one of the things in, in my experience, um, and I, I have plenty of it here at this company, is a lot of the time people use larger and, and longer and bigger ties than they need to because the smaller ties are difficult to manipulate by hand. I see it every time I show one of these tools to a customer, they're using a tie that's sometimes two or three times longer than they need it simply because manipulating a four inch 18 pound cable tie around a bundle of wire is not all that easy to do. So nine times out of 10, when we offer this tool, show this tool, um, they're surprised to realize how well it works on the bundle when they've been used to using a tie twice as long as this. So don't let the four inch cable tie part um, throw you off it's really about the bundle diameter itself. So like I said earlier, it goes all the way down to, you know, a, an eighth of an inch and up to approximately just a little over three quarters of an inch bundle. Um, available in a black and a natural cable tie. So if, again, for any solar related opportunities, I, I would certainly think the black uh, UV heat stabilized material would be the right fit. So um, a, a couple of different ways to, to mount the tool or to use the tool, but but for any of your applications, in, unless it was a controlled environment, um, my assumption would be this would be used out in the field and therefore you're bringing the tool to the work as opposed to uh, bringing the work to the tool. But, so that is our um, CPK hybrid. Um, just this past May, we introduced another battery operated tool called the ProCut. So this is a, an upgrade from the EVO 9 tool that I, I showed you to start with. This is a battery operated uh, EVO 9 equivalent. This runs our 50 pound ties all the way up to our 255 pound ties. Just launched about four weeks, three weeks ago at the, the wire processing show in Milwaukee. Um, it's working uh, extremely well, something we've been waiting for for a long time. It's got a single fing uh, finger depression as a trigger, as opposed to manually pulling the tie. Uh, again, um, if you guys have a moment, we can spend a bit of time just showing you this quick little video. It's only a minute, a minute. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but. Thank you. 
Again, guys, just, just to kind of touch on some of the, the products we have, the different products we have uh, that you, you know, have access to through Baywa, whether it's in our, our standard products like bundling, secure, and cable ties, identification, as we've touched on briefly. Um, we've got a whole host of different uh, backup information or technical information on our, on our solar offering, whether it's wire management or our identification products. And one more recent uh, uh, product launch, something that I just uh, actually showed Matt and Emma and Will when, when we were on first, is our magnetic products. So again, I'm not sure how many of you might have an opportunity for this, but we've, we've developed a line. We just launched it uh, with the ProCut tool actually at the wire processing show, and it's uh, a heavy duty magnet. Uh, I'm not even, uh, so there we go, a rare earth magnets. So uh, available in a few different uh, mounting uh, opportunities here. If you guys were looking for more information about this, just let us know, but it is a brand new product. I'm actually just waiting for samples to arrive. Uh, Emma, um, if you're, uh, if you're uh, interested, I'll make sure I send you out some, some samples for, for your people and your customers. So, are there any questions of, about any of the products that we've uh, we've touched on so far? Hey Terry, yes. Um, going back to the labeling, uh, yep. have can you comment on the durability of your labels and signs? I was astonished last month when I saw a reputable PV installer use non lamicoid labels that started to show wear and tear within a couple of months of installation. Yep, it, it's a great question, and it and it's something that we've we've done extremely uh, done a lot of internal testing on. So what I can do, Matt, after this is just because I'm sure uh, the person asking will want some information. We actually have it's called a xenon arc um, ex life accelerant chamber, something to that effect. Maybe I'm butchering the name of it, but it it actually. Um, we've taken our labels, we've we've put them in this chamber, and the life expectancy on some of our labels exceeds 25 years. So I will follow up this webinar with that technical data because it does depend on which label you're using and where, um, but I, we have a lot of information on it, enough to uh, support our claims on some of these 20 plus year ratings on some of our labels. So. Great. And uh, same customer, what plans do you have to make the labels for the Canadian Electrical Code, uh, CE code, that we could reliably use here instead of always being handed labels for the American Electrical Code? It's it's another good question. We, we have worked with our folks in the U.S. on developing CEC code compliant labels. If there are any specific labels that, that uh, your customer is, is looking to use, just let you know Matt, and we will make sure we can we can get it done we can have any text pretty much printed on any label in any label combination um sometimes there are some minimum orders but but sometimes there aren't depending on circumstances we've had calls for them in french before which we are able to do um matt you, you and i have spoken about what the software allows you to do um, the software makes some of these changes very easy because you can do everything on demand. Um, we've discussed the idea of a webinar specifically on our tag print in our system. So if, if that's something that there may be some interest in, we could do an actual you know, live demo of the software 
um, and show some of those uh, you know, advantages to being able to print more or less on demand. Um, but as far as the CEC code question is, if there's anything specific, just let us know and I can look into exactly how we can get it, get it uh, you know, essentially made for them. So. Great, thank you. Okay. So beyond these, um, you know, few products that we've discussed, maybe what I'll what I'll do now at this point is just go into a little bit more um, about us, our products uh, beyond uh, solar. We won't talk about it, you know, in great detail, but just to give you guys a sense for some of the other uh, spaces that we play in, uh, aerospace, automotive, defense. Here's our energy section. So. So just to give you, a, a, again, a bit of an overview on stuff beyond just uh, our, our what we've discussed today, talked a little bit about our expertise with regards to materials applications and then the codes and standards. You know, this is the type of thing that we have, have worked from the very beginning on, making sure that our products comply with, with yes, I granted some of them or most of them are some of the NEC standards, but um, we do have some ability to, to work on the cro uh, on the crossovers to the CEC codes. Um, again, we talked about some solar ties, labels, printers, some of the Eclipse, our solar clamps. Um, we got a full line catalog available for just solar products. Uh, Baywa probably has some. If they don't, we can certainly send out some, some more. Uh, we've got all kinds of opportunities here on the website that goes into more detail. Um, we've got a, a recent uh, push, if you will, on, on what we're calling sustainability. So this is something that we are working closely with our product engineers across the world. Actually, there's, there's uh, almost 40 different element titans around the globe. And we are now getting into what we're calling a more of a sustainable product line using sustainable products, sometimes recycled products, certainly not with the risk of, of quality, but using um, as best we can the, the opportunities we have to, to incorporate sustainable materials. Just to give you one example, we, we had a partnership with Ford recently where we, we, we took a series of nylon fish nets that had been at the bottom of the ocean and turned it into a workable production level part for one of the Rivian, uh, that's the electric uh, truck, uh, that Ford has produced one of the Rivian uh, platforms and they're using a, a product of ours that was made out of fishnet. So it's just just something that we're doing as a company that I feel as though ties into you know what everybody in, in our world is trying to do when it comes to solar, which is is that sustainability or that sort of uh, more uh, natural uh, ability and resource of, of developing products. So just it's, it's we're sort of at the, at the front end of it, but it, it is something that all the way from our group president um, has has made it a strategy and a, and, and a long term uh, ambition to make sure that we continue to not only use products that are uh, made out of, of sustainable materials, but also making sure that our plants are using as much of their um, uh, standards as we can to make sure that we're we're being as, as sort of carbon neutral as, as we can be. So uh, I was actually just down in a, at a, a one week seminar down in Milwaukee a couple of weeks ago at our head office. And, and this was at the forefront of a lot of what we were talking about that, that we're really trying to develop um, you know, a, a plan for how we can continue to develop products. So just, just a small little notation on, on some of the stuff we're doing as, as a company that, that again does kind of, I think, connect with um, with the solar world and, and in some cases the wind world as well, um, we do some uh, wind. I'm not I'm not sure if any of you uh, uh, play in this space or not, but but we do have a few products that fit you know in line with some of that market. Um, from what we understand, a lot of this is is done at a manufacturing level, uh, but but just so you know, we have have worked with some of the uh, the wind. Uh, manufacturers to make sure that we've got products that fit that space as well. Um, 
if anybody was interested in a little bit more information on this, this uh, just just ask, and we can make sure that gets uh, gets handled as well. Um, we do have a full line of, of products that fit the industrial automation uh, portion of of a market space. Um, I know that these these panels do sometimes exist in some in some solar farms, some uh, applications. So just know we've got a, a full line of products that fit in that world from everything from our tooling, as we talked about, to our labeling, and then obviously standard cable ties, spiral wrap, wiring duct, things like that. So, so there, there's a lot of different um, fits when it comes to uh, to Helen and Titan's products. So, any other questions? Not seeing anything at the moment. Okay. Okay. So then, I mean, to be honest with you, Matt, that that's sort of the extent of what what I wanted to touch on. Um, I I would like to follow this up uh, with you if it, if it's okay, and send you an email with uh, a little bit more specific details on some of the things we talked about today. Maybe some links just to make it easy for somebody to uh, to get more information if they're interested. Um, I'm due for a trip out to Edmonton at, at some point too, so. If there was ever a, a requirement for for myself or, or one of us from Heller and Titan to come out and and have a, a day at your facility, Matt, we'd be happy to do that. Uh, bring a bunch of samples with us, and you know whether it's support or or um, uh, have a lunch, maybe that we we can we can pay for, you know whatever the case may be. There, uh, we'd be happy to do that too. So. Great, uh, really appreciate it, and and thank you, Terry. That was great. I really appreciate you taking the time to help uh, educate us on some of the products. Just a couple of uh, things before we go. Once again, this was recorded. It'll be put up on our YouTube channel uh, momentarily. If you haven't signed up, please sign up. Uh, it'll also come in the newsletter as well. Uh, for those of you that haven't signed up for our web shop, it's a really great resource. Uh, spec sheets, pricing, inventory, install manuals. You can see orders, pay for orders all on there so it's a very powerful tool for those who aren't using it just yet um, if you have any follow-up questions please reach out to any of the inside or outside salespeople. there's lots of people uh, standing by to be able to help you out and we do have samples of these products so they come in a nice little uh, bag so if anybody would like any just let your rep know we'll, we'll be sure to get those out to you and uh, thanks again, uh, Terry. Really, really appreciate your support and Helen and Titan. Thank you, Matt. Uh, same goes for you guys. I, 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 again, you were you were one of the first ones to to sort of jump on board with with us when it came to these these products, and uh, it's been a good ride. So thank you too. So. Okay. Take care, everybody. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye.